I'm just flannelin and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Martyr Lock. I'm kidding, I am just joshing. But I am wearing a lot of flannel today. In the last episode, um, this man right here tried to end my whole career with a Flareon with a, a pretty interesting moveset. So you should go back and check out the last episode because we lost a lot of Pokemon and I cried a lot. Um, but that's okay. You probably saw the grinding montage at the beginning of today's episode or you skipped it. Either one is totally fine. Um, I need to heal. Uh, we, in the last episode, acquired Miley Knight, the Rhyperior, and Karkin, the Malamar, whose name I remember, I promise. Um, we acquired them in the last episode, uh, because, well, we lost two very important team members. We lost our Flygon, and we also lost our Pre-Marina, which is extremely upsetting to me. Um, but it's okay, because in today's episode... Well, it's actually not okay. We're, we're just continuing along, basically. I need to buy some healing items first. Primarily super potions, because I believe I only have... I think I used them... Yep, I used all of them in the grinding montage. So we'll buy a couple here. Just to help us get through today's episode. Um, the goal today is to get to the trial. I don't know that we're going to do the trial in today's episode. Uh, but we're definitely going to be making a sacrifice before this episode ends. Which is not great for me, personally. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time coming t to grips with that, but it's okay. You know, we'll get through it together. Um, for those of you guys who didn't see the last episode, uh, we can only... The Pokemon we're sacrificing, uh, there's a rule, of course. A Pokemon have to, has to have survived a round of sacrifice in order to be... Sacrifice, excuse me! 
And the only three Pokemon on the team that fit that bill after all of our losses in the last episode are Waximus, Arthropod, and Westbrook. I can promise you I'm not sacrificing Waximus because we don't have any good replacement in the box for a Ghost Fire type. We have no Fire types. Uh, we have maybe some decent replacements for Westbrook, the Grass Fighting type, and for Arthropod, the Steel Bug type. Look, I said I would never sacrifice Arthropod, but... We don't have much of a choice in today's episode. I, we'll figure out at the end who I'm actually going to sacrifice. I think we have a lot of battles to do, by the way. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, like 10 episodes ago, I may have literally said the phrase, if Arthropod dies in this playthrough, I'm quitting. Does it count as a death if I sacrifice him? Because that's it. <laughs> Look, I'm not sacrificing Arthropod. Don't do Sorry, do, do not tell Westbrook that, but there's a... Very little chance that I sacrifice Arthur Pot. He's been, he's been with us for too long and I love him too much. Oh, we have a gold duck here. Uh, speaking of Westbrook, though, you know, in terms of reasons to potentially keep him, he did learn Seed Bomb during the grinding montage. By the way, I do apologize for all the flannel if this is assaulting your eyes. I, you know Dragon Claw. Okay, so like every battle that we do from now on, should I just assume... You're not actually the Pokemon that you are. That's fun. So basically, every single battle that I go into, I'll just guess. I'll just guess who I'm actually facing, and we'll go based off of that. That seems like a good time. Uh, I'm wearing a lot of flannel. You didn't die from that. Well, that's just a darn shame. It looks like you're only hitting me with the, um... Yeah, the Dragon Claw, so we're fine. What level are you, by the way? I only grinded everybody to level 37. Okay, 37 seems about on par, so... I, I probably could have grinded for a little bit longer, but um, like your mama in the club, <laughs> I got tired of grinding. Okay, we have a Cleffa coming in, but is it actually a Cleffa? Of course, is a question you're probably asking. Well, let's go into Miley Knight and find out. A big issue that we have on the team right now that I notice, um, and it's especially scary with... The fact that some Pokemon are not as they seem. You're level 38. That's a problem. Let's go for the drill run. What are you actually? Okay, we outspeed you, which is insane. I guess baby Pokemon stats are horrible. And we're just going to one-shot you, so never mind. Let's not even worry about it. Um, the thing that's scary is we have a lot of Pokemon on our, on our team right now that have quad weaknesses. Rhyperior is quad weak to water and grass. Um, Arthropod is quad weak to fire. Malamar is quad weak to bug. Is there anybody else on the team that has a quad weakness? Wax a million doesn't. Uh, Triply doesn't. Westbrook is quad weak to flying. So four of our Pokemon are quad weak. And considering we're going into battles where we don't actually know what the Pokemon we're facing is, there's like a 1 in 16 chance we get hit with that quad weakness. So it's always fun. It's always fun. It's really more of like a 2 in 16 chance. Also known as 1 8 if you simplify your fractions. Because Pokemon can have dual typings. And a Pokemon's moveset could be... Never mind. Let's continue. Wait up, Jersh! So this is the Aether House, huh? Strangers! Nice hats. Don't make fun of mine, though. This means battle! What? Why? We'll protect our home when Acer Roll is away. I don't know if Acer Roll is how you pronounce it. You may be wondering why I'm flannel out. Well, I got this on sale. $7. So I had to pick it up. I like flannels quite a bit. And they we're getting into cold season. It's like 40 to 40. Well, how is the temperature? 47 degrees outside currently. That's not like cold, cold, winter cold. By the way, another water type I can't help but notice. Maybe we don't lead with uh, with Miley Knight anymore. And maybe I should have healed up Westbrook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I understand. Well, we're going to hope we don't get hit with a flying type move. Because, well, that's what we're going to hope. Um, this was on sale for $7, so I snagged a couple of them in a couple different colors. Yo, oh, thank you. Would Poplio normally have Sing? He might. I don't know Poplio that well. This is going to one-shot, so it doesn't really matter. Dude, Seed Bomb is a good move. Um, I was already wearing this hat, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear this. Why am I wearing the hat? Because the hair. Because the hair. I have good news and bad news about the hair, and I will let you know about that in just a second. You, 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 you ought to know. Well, we tried. I tried really hard. I'm a kid, you know. We saw one. Yeah, one. Why is this little fellow still gnawing on me? It's like my puppers. 
It's like my dog every single day. I'm back, everybody, and I don't remember what voice I gave you, so we're going with Regal. Ha ha ha, looks like I finished up my shopping spree right on time. You've already met everyone. Uh, yeah, we met alright, in battle anyway, but where's Lily? I left her with Hapu, they should be coming soon. So why don't we get to those trials done first? You did know I'm the captain, right? Uh, okay, no, okay, we're just not gonna, we're just gonna... No response other than that. Okay, um, good to go. Let's continue. See you later. See you later, Ace Arola. Oh, <gasps> I gotta save my girl. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. Stop right now. For real, girl? Your bag was moving right in front of my eyes and I'm just supposed to ignore that? You got some rare Pokemon in there. I'm gonna have to take it and make some cash. Even if it's not that rare a Pokemon, I bet I could still get paid, yo. No. Skull. I gotta save the damn soul in distress. Josh. Oh, so we're following that script, are we? Trainer dashes forward to save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna let you be the hero. Look at him. He's trying to break cultural norms. You gotta... I stand. A king. A team skull king. Or dancer grunt. Ugh. Is a dab considered a dance move? By the way, another water type. Uh, Miley Knight, I hate to say it, but you just can't be out here right now. Did I forget to heal up Westbrook again? Brain! That's fine. We'll go into Karkin instead. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess we'll go into Karkin instead and do this battle. Here's the good and the bad news. Here's the skinny boys and girls. Water Pulse, don't confuse me. If you confuse me, I'll be upset. It's a lot of damage. Um, that will require me to heal up. I've got good news and bad news for you, boys and girls of the audience, and I hope you're ready to listen. The good news is this hair, whoa, what the heck is happening? This lovely hair that you see right here, AKA the longest my hair has ever, look at this. It's like, I can almost, I can almost eat it. Um, it's the longest my hair has ever been in my young adult life, and I don't particularly love it. I don't hate it. It's. I don't hate how it looks all the time. Sometimes it's very difficult. Like, it's very wavy today. Sometimes it's just very wavy for some reason. And I do hate that. Yo, don't crit me, though. I do hate when it gets uber wavy like that. Um, and sometimes it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to manage. But I can just throw on a hat, and that's fine. I usually am not a hat person. Um, when I have a nice hair day, I really like the longer hair. But it's... I definitely have more... I mean, it's more hair to work with, so you would assume that I would have more bad hair days than good hair days, which is fine. You know, it's fine. It's, just, it's understandable. I do hate it, though. Um, the thing that I hate the most about it is how much dang shampoo I have to use. I gotta, like, triple my shampoo usage just to make up for it. So much hair. So anyway, the good news is Halloween is quickly approaching. I actually am going to my Halloween party this Saturday. That's the Halloween party that I'm growing out this hair for. I'm growing it out for a Halloween costume. So after Saturday, assuming I don't need to dress up in the costume again, I should be able to get my hair cut. So this may be the last episode, the last recording session, the last couple of episodes, when your boy has this much hair, which is good. I'm gonna chop it all off. I am gonna, I don't know how short I'm gonna go. I think pretty short though, because not digging it. The result, what's up with that? I still got bad news, so hold on just one second. When I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me. Later. What drowsy? Phew, thank you, Josh. I just wanted to go for a stroll on my own to see what it must feel like to be a trainer. So Hoppy and I went our separate ways, but then Nebby tried to get out of my bag. Yo, I've never related to Lily in my entire life until I got this puppy. Now I understand the struggle of trying to corral a small creature. The thing, I turn my head for two seconds, he's peeing in the corner. Impossible. Didn't you go on, you little troublemaker? You'd better thank Jersh too. Pew! My dog doesn't thank me, even after I wipe up all his poop. Oh, and um... When I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted to be some help to you during your island challenge, and I saw these. I'm gonna sneeze. Hold on. Hold on. Nope, it's gonna go away. 
Yep, 100% focus, maximum control. Nose. We're fine. You have to, ooh, we could make a nice home for a Pokemon in a luxury ball. I bought them without even thinking. Okay, awkward phrase. Oh, Lily. What's the matter? You look all worn out. Do you want to rest at Aether House a while? Oh, hey, Sarola, thank you. I, I think I might be, I might take you up on that. <laughs> and you, Josh, we can reach my trial site from Tapu Village. Come on, follow me. Okay, I don't remember. I think I gave you a British accent initially. That's okay. Things change over time. She lost her British accent from living in Planet Earth for too long. Okay, hold on. You needed to do some things. First of all, you need to heal up Westbrook. And you need to heal up Karkin. Second of all, I mean, what are the odds we continue running into water types? It's got to be pretty slim. Shady. Let's put, um... Let's put Karkin out front instead. Let's let's rock with Kark. Uh, maybe Tripoli. Let's do Tripoli. I'm actually really starting to like Tripoli. So, you know, we'll put Tripoli out front. We'll give Tripoli some time to shine instead. Um... Let's go towards the trial. Like I said, I don't think we're going to make it to the trial. I mean, we will make it to the trial in today's episode. I don't think we'll do it, but we will sacrifice, which is scary. Here's the bad news, boys and girls. The old supermarket where I hold my trials right down this way, down Route 14. Here's the bad news, boys and girls. Um, yes, I will be able to get my hair cut. I will be able to get my hair cut... Ooh, sticker. I will be able to get my hair cut on... Don't freeze on me, please. Thank you. I will be able to get my hair cut this, after this weekend. Assuming, again, I don't need to wear the costume again ever, which I'm hoping I don't. Although I did spend $50 on it, so maybe should get more than one use out of it. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know, maybe. The bad news is that the costume... Marowak. The costume does require a shaving of the beard... Ow, that hurt really bad. The costume does require a beard shave. A 100% baby butt smooth skin beard shave. I gotta shave my face completely. Hello, frillish lady. There are too many frillish. They're trying to paralyze me. <sighs> well, we'll save you. Someone save you. Here we go. Frill. Um... I have not shaved, clean shaven. I should have put Malamar out front. Could have been 1v1. Like an old Call of Duty Modern Warfare lobby. Um, we should be fine in this battle, I think. Oh, we're fine. We got play rough. Triple doesn't play nice. We play a little rough, little mean, little... Saibin, that ain't gonna do nothing. It did more than I thought, but still not too bad. We'll go for one more play rough. We'll take you out. This will be the first time I'm clean shaven in like two or three years. I cannot remember the last time I clean shave, shove, shoved, shaved, shaven. I can't remember the last time I didn't have a beard. Um, I think it might have been. The frillish are gone. I think it might have been during our, to start off our Pokemon Sun Let's Play. Not Ultra Sun, original Pokemon Sun. I shaved my beard at the beginning of that playthrough because I used to actually try to get views back then. <laughs> funny, funny times. A destiny knob. Uh, not that I don't try anymore, but I definitely don't put in as much effort as I should. Um, back then I try, and so I probably titled the first episode, Oh my gosh, you won't believe what I did to my beard in this episode. Answer, I shaved it. So that's what happened. Did you say you proposed to your wife? Too much information. Um... And I'm going to have to do this again. Maybe I should shave it in our Ultra Moon playthrough and come full circle. Pidgeotto. This should be fine? I think this should be fine. You're level 39. This is not fun. We do have Rock Tomb, though, so that's actually fine. Of course, the one battle where we probably actually want... That's not enough damage. The one battle where we actually want our Rhyperior out here... Oh, just kidding, because he knows Scald, so... We actually, fun fact, fun fact, we actually do not want our right period out here. Okay, so you know Scald. Um, 
If you know Scald, what are the chances you know a flying type move? I'm gonna go Karkin. I don't have much to hit you with, bruh. I don't have much to hit you with, bruh. You're level 39. I probably didn't grind high enough. That's okay. That's okay. We'll we'll get through it. Don't burn me, please. I ask you to not burn me, and I appreciate that you didn't. Um, I think you go for the side beam. We could probably two hit you with the side beam. I would think we could probably two hit you with the side beam. Another scald coming in. As long as you don't crit, we're fine. You didn't crit, you didn't burn. Do I think another side beam will get the job done? I do not. It was a little close, too close for comfort, I'll say. And uh, I don't feel like risking it in today's episode. So we're not gonna do that. I look like I literally just finished driving a big rig for 45 minutes. I meant to say hours. 45 minutes would not be a very hard day's work. I look like a hard working man. <laughs> the burn. <laughs> The burn, okay. I mean, Scald literally burns all the time, so it's not that crazy. <sighs> Hopefully this takes you out. I'll just cross my fingers and hope this takes you out. I don't think it's going to, but maybe we can get lucky. It did not, just don't crit me. Thank you very much. And we should be able to take you out this turn. One more side beam will get the job done. Okay, fantastico. A little scary for a second. I don't love that you know Scald. Because that means your next Pokemon also probably won't be what it actually is. I wish I knew, like, Trippy wants to learn Swords Dance? I'm into that. Double hit, see you later. We need a setup, Mon. We do not have a setup, Mon. I just got rid of our only stab normal type move. Probably not smart, but that's okay. A Linoon is going to come in next. Okay, well... I have a horrible feeling you're going to be just a straight up water type trainer. If you knew Scald on the first guy, you probably have Scald. Or Is this normally where you get Scald? I don't trust it. I'm going into Westbrook. I'm going into Westbrook. I'm going to double kick you. I don't trust it. I, I just don't. Just letting you know that I don't. Okay, Rhino. Watch this freak freaking thing be like what's a water flying type this thing's like a swan or something he's gonna use hurricane and he's gonna one shot me guaranteed 100% guaranteed he's got a flying type move the one thing that's quite effective against us thankfully we live can we take you out with a double kick not even close okay good to know what a fun nuzlocke what a fun time you guys having fun hey hey look at us look at us who would have thought not me is he actually a Swana? Like, if I go into Miley Knight, are you going to use a Water-type move on me? Can't risk it. There's a 0% chance that you are... Fire-flying. I mean, you literally could be a Talon Flame. Please don't be, though. Please just don't be. Like, what if you weren't? Okay, we resist that just fine. Please don't be. Night Slash. A Dark Flying type? Or at least a Dark type that can learn... What is a dark flying type? Honchcrow? You're a Honchcrow? Or you're Volibee? I don't know. My dear wife. Um, if I knew more about Pokemon Ultra Sun slash Ultra Moon, I could probably, probably tell you who that was, what Pokemon they normally have. I may need to start doing some research. Like before I do an episode. Uh, we're probably better off using full heal. Do I burn heals? Yes, queen. Um, I'm probably better off. Excuse me. I'm probably better off. That would be cheating. I was going to say like before an episode, I could, I could go in and see what trainers we were going to fight and know what Pokemon they actually had just so that I can't be blindsided, but... That seems not fun. I kind of, I mean, obviously I hate that we're losing like a Pokemon a uh, an episode. We haven't, fingers crossed, haven't t yet today. Uh, but I do kind of hate that we're losing a Pokemon an episode. Um, it's certainly not good for like the longevity of the lock. <laughs> I would say that losing a, an, a, a Pokemon an episode, not an episode of Pokemon. I would say that losing a Pokemon an episode is not, look, I just want a big pearl. I would say that losing a Pokemon an episode 
is not a great way to guarantee success in a Nuzlocke. Thank you, Lordy. Give me something really good. Ooh, we can use that to not evolve my son, Feebas, who unfortunately has to be traded. Um, give me a repel. Give me a, give me a repel. Pop this up, because I don't feel like getting in, a, in any battles. Uh, except for trainer battles, which I think there is still a couple out here. Like, there's definitely a swimmer, right? This large and expanse of water, there's got to be at least one swimmer. Look, I want to do... There he is. I was like, there's a shirtless man out here somewhere. Let's find him. The reason I don't ride flappers is because I can... So I highly debate that. Hold on. I kind of want to ask Google, but I don't think I'm going to. Let me ask. Hold on. Hold on. Flareon user Keone, bring it on. How fast can a Lapras swim? Here are some results from a search. There is no limit to how many... Okay. It's intelligent, loves human speech, loves to swim in the sea. Okay, well, I don't have particular statistics on this, but let me just hit you with a hard debate. Okay, are you actually a Suicune or not so much? Are you actually a Suicune? Or not so much. Are you actually a sweet coon? We're gonna find out together. I'm gonna hope that you are. I'm gonna hope you're actually a sweet coon. You are a sweet coon, but that means you do pack the Aurora Beam, which isn't great for me. Yeah, that's a problem. It's not great. All right, let me just <laughs> allow me to 180 right out into Arthropod. How do I sacrifice Arthropod? Answer: You don't. <laughs> Especially because I didn't... You pack the gust too. You were going to bot me. You were going to bot me there. That's exactly what you were going to do. Let's hit him with the twin needle. When he's going for the mist, you got nothing to worry about. Hey guys, what's your favorite season? That's right. It's question of the daytime. And it I, that just popped in my head because I love the weather outside right now. Hey, I'm weird. Maybe I'm not weird. The sun is okay. I don't mind the sun. And actually on like a freezing cold day, sometimes having a little sunlight is is nice. What's strange about me or what I think is strange about me. Today was like a high of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Overcast, semi-cloudy skies. That sounds like garbage weather, right? Like you'd be like, that's garbage weather. That's perfect weather for me. You know why? Because I already don't go outside. And then when the weather's like that, I can say, oh, it's a yucky day. I can st I'll can stay inside today. Hint, I was going to stay inside even if it was 70 and sunny. Now I just don't look like a weirdo who stays inside all the time. It's really the ultimate strategy. So what's your favorite season? Because in fall and winter, we have a lot of those, you know, 40, 50 degrees, cloudy, overcast skies. It's also just kind of nice outside. It's nice when everything's the same color. It's not, the wind is still, you're not getting pelted in the eyes by the sun. I just kind of enjoy it. There's something about it. Maybe that makes me a weirdo. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm a weirdo. I just, and I also just like when the weather's colder. I hate being hot. I absolutely, which is good because I was born with this face. <laughs> Self zing. Um, is that a self sing? I'm trying to say I'm ugly, so just take that however way possible to make it. You know what I'm trying to say. I think I insulted myself. Good. Okay. Let's. Now that we're past that. Hello, Acerola. Here we are. Climb up these steps and my trial begins. I will not because I have to go make a sacrifice, but I think there's maybe a couple more trainers first, like this shorts wearing lad. Yoink. I want to wear Pokemon. I'll go. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so fall is a top tier season for me. <sighs> it's tough. Look, I, I think part of my ranking of the seasons has to do with where I live. I love fall. We have a pretty decent fall here in Missouri. Um, I mean, decent is a relative term. To me, perfect weather is like 60 degrees. In Missouri, it doesn't really do that. I'm going to go ahead and trust you're actually a chin chow. In Missouri, it doesn't really do that. We kind of, we go from like back in September, like literally a month ago, it was still a hundred degrees. 
into like middle, late September, it was still like a hundred degrees. I know like there was a one week span and this is just how Missouri is. There was a one week span where on a Friday, don't kill me, please. Oh, okay, but you get the confusion, so you can eat my butt. Uh, on a Friday afternoon, day, whatever, it was a high of 97. The following Tuesday was a high of 45. That's just Missouri. Literally cut the temperature in half, like a pair of scissors. The pair of scissors doesn't cut in half. It, gets, it cuts other things in half. Um, so it's hard to pick a favorite season, because here's the thing. I think 60 to 70 degrees right in that window. Give me 60 to 70. I think that's pretty much perfect weather. If it's, you know, partly cloudy, maybe a little bit of sun, maybe overcast. 55 to 65 degrees. And no wind. Give me no wind. I don't, I like still days. That's my perfect weather. Hello, Volcarona. That is my perfect weather. Now. That sounds like spring, right? 60 degrees sounds like what well, should be spring. Well, unfortunately in Missouri, that's not the case because again, in Missouri, it basically goes from the barren winter to summer. Your spring, if you're lucky, is maybe two weeks long. And those two weeks are phenomenal, but it generally goes from about, you know, 20 degrees, 20 to 30 degrees, it's winter, all the way up until like March and April. And then in April, usually like mid-April, sometimes it snows even in April, it's nuts. But then like mid to late April, don't kill me with absorb, please. Okay, we're fine. Mid to late April, you get a nice two week period. Nice two week period where it's 70s and the weather's perfect. 60, 70, weather's perfect. And then it goes straight to 100. So there's really not much time to enjoy it. I think if my springs were longer here, I would like spring more. But since we don't really have a spring, I can't really like it very much. Our fall at least lasts like a month, month and a half-ish. We have a Pidgeot coming in. Is it actually a Pidgeot? Well, I'm going to stay in just in case. Oh, it's a Mega Pidgeot. <laughs> fun. That's fun. Well, we should be fine unless you have close combat. I outspeed you in what world? On what planet do I outspeed you? Oh, on the planet where you go for Whirlwind. Don't bring in Chestnut. If I could ask for one thing. Waxwell, this is probably fine. Yeah, I think Wax. unless you have Night Slash, but I doubt it. Doubt you have that. We're gonna go for the Flame Burst, Yah Yeet. But anyway, if our... Oh, it is raining. It is raining. If our spring was longer, I would enjoy it more. It also just kind of rains a lot in our spring. Like, usually the two nice weeks we have are filled with rain. And spring also, spring and early summer in Missouri is tornado season, and I just hate tornadoes, so. Fall is usually pretty fantastic. Fall is top tier. Fall is number one for me. Give me bonfires. Give me Halloween candy. You're getting closer to Thanksgiving. I think winter is number two, which is crazy. I do love the cold, though, so that's not that surprising to me. I love the cold. I gotta go fall, winter. Give me just in that order. Fall, winter, spring, summer. Summer trash. I'm sorry if you like summer. Again, a lot of this is probably a product of living in Missouri, St. Louis to be particular, because our summers are just hot and humid. If I wanted a hot and humid summer, I'd at least go live in Florida where I could have a beach. We don't have those here. It's just hot and humid and sucks and you can't do anything outside for an entire summer. Our winters are also extremely harsh and icy and windy, but I don't mind that as much, so you know. We literally get the worst of all worlds here in, in Missouri. It's basically a horrible place to live. Anyway, um, to end on a happy note, let's sacrifice a Pokemon. So our choices are Westbrook and Arthropod, because Waximus ain't happening. Our choices are Arthropod and Westbrook. Look, I don't, Okay, Chestnut has a better moveset, for sure. Chestnut has a better moveset. Grass Fighting Type, Seed Bomb, Heart Stamp, Double Kick, Spectral Thief. Nice coverage, good moveset. Arthropod, not so much. Iron Head, Slash, Heavy Slam, Twin Needle, kind of lame. 
Westbrook is actually tankier. I was going to say the Arthropod's super tanky. Westbrook is actually tankier, but Arthropod hits like a truck. 133? 133? That's pretty nuts. Um, it is Jolly, which doesn't help me too much because I don't really need beneficial speed, but I don't even know what Calm Nature is, so that probably doesn't help too much either. Let's look at potential replacements. We know we want a special attacker. We could use a water type. We know we can't evolve Feebas. We know we don't want Luminion. We could add you, but you're a physical attacker. I need special attackers. So special attackers, we have Cretaceon. Grass poison type. Even though you have no special moves, you technically are a special attacker. Now, the one thing we need to remember about Venus Mega Venusaur is that it won't always be a Mega Venusaur. Once we pull it out, at some point, it will no longer be a Mega Venusaur, which is sad. Um, so we have to decide if this is the right moment we want to bring you out. You are also level 31, which is awesome because that's less grinding we have to do. Physical attacker, physical attacker. Already have a flying type. Oh, we do have a ghost type in the box. I forgot about Spiritomb. Fairy type, but... Oh, you're a special attacker. Yeah, we ain't using you. We do have Northanos who is a special attacker and would be a pretty good steel type. Physical attacker, special attacker, but we have Psychic already. I mean, the choice is pretty slim. We really don't have a lot of special attackers in the box. Could add a Timid Moraine, the Rabombi, but it's level 11, so the grinding would be a little ridiculous. I think you're basically choosing between Northanos and Cretaceon. Yo, I think I need to go to the doctor. Pretty sure I need to go to a neurologist. There's something wrong with my brain. Because I'm working this out in my head. And Northanos is the right choice. Which means we should sacrifice Arthropod. You doing okay up there? I truly think that's the right choice. And I said it would never happen. Holding on to Arthropod. I know he's level 41, which is like... Here's logical arguments in his case. He's level 41 versus 38. That's great. He hits a little bit harder. That's great. There's no other logical arguments. His moveset's worse. His speed's worse. Slightly less defensive, although especially defensive more. They both have a quad weakness. And to be honest, this is a better replacement than this. I think a Magnazone with Sturdy, adding Electric Type back on the team, adding Steel. I think that's the right choice. The only argument for Arthropod is sentimentality. He's literally been with us since after we beat the first trial. And I, he's also... It's like a situation where like... You know, maybe you got a... Maybe you're in sports and you got this... You got a player on your baseball team that's past his prime. He's a little bit old. Adam Wainwright. How about that? Cardinals reference. He's a little up there. He's old. He's nearing the tail end of his career. He has an okay performance every now and again, and sometimes he looks every year of 38 that he is, however old he is. But you keep throwing him out there because it's Adam Wainwright, and he's done so much for you, you give him the benefit of the doubt. The question is, do we extend that same level of sentimentality here? I don't think we do. Am I actually going to do it? I don't know if I can. I think it makes the most sense. His, his moveset's been so bad for like the whole game. Twin Needle at level 41. I'll be honest, I never thought this day would come, but this is the right choice. 
I'm excited to, I, I'm excited and scared to read your guys' comments. You're either going to be very, very mad about this, or maybe you'll find some humor in it. There were some people in the first motor lock when I sacrificed our Groudon that were happy because the Groudon made things too easy. Maybe Arthropod's making things a little too easy. That's actually untrue, but... That just happened. Let's go ahead and finish the episode because I don't want to think about the consequences of the actions I just did. Set it in stone, boys. Save it. Save it. Have to commit. Have to commit. We're committed. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please consider showing some support down below in the form of liking, commenting, and also subscribing. It really helps out a great deal. And uh, share with your grandmother as always, unless she was a fervent arthropod fan. In which case, oh, we get to heal. In which case, maybe don't share it with her. <laughs> this might not be the episode to share with her if she really liked Arthropod. Um, yeah, let's not talk about it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Gotta finish this so you know I'm not cheating. Got it. So we're just healing. We're just healing. In the next episode, we'll be taking on the Ghost Trial. Hopefully, I don't regret this decision immensely immediately by getting rid of our best steel type. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.